Hello there and welcome to part 3 of 3 of making this character controller. In the first part we've made the character movement, in the second part we did the orbiting camera, and in today's part we're going to make those two things work together to make your character move relative to what your camera's position is. So as it stands, if we rotate our camera around, our movement inputs do not change, which is just very counterintuitive and doesn't feel very good. So we need to change these input parameters based on the rotation of the camera. Let's open up the player movement scripts that we've made. This is the player movement. It's very easy and very simple. We're going to be changing some things around. We're going to be adding to it in order for this to work the way we want it. First and foremost, on top, we're going to add a new serialized field, which is going to be a transform for our camera. Then after we get these inputs, we'll also make a vector three for the camera forward direction, which will be equal to cam.transform.forward. In theory, we can get the transform out of there because this is already a transform. And then vector three again, which will be the camera right direction, which will be equal to cam.right. This way we at all times know what the forward direction and the direction to the right of our camera is, meaning that we always have an idea as to where it's pointing and how it's pointing there. That being said, we're going to want to uh, influence this immediately because our cam forward dot y needs to be equal to zero because as we discussed in the last two videos, the y rotation will be the up and down rotation and we don't want that to impact. We only want the horizontal rotation of our camera to impact what we're doing. So the same will go for camera right dot y also will be set to zero. And I'll actually uh, make some comments here. So we'll call this inputs, we'll call this camera direction, and then we'll make a uh, thing where we create the relative camera direction. So we'll create a vector three here and we'll call that forward relative. And this is going to be our relative forward movement. So that's going to be our vertical input multiplied by our camera forward direction. This will do two things. Our vertical input is going to go from being just simply a float to being a vector three, but it's going to be a vector three that is influenced by where the camera is at that frame. And you can probably see what's going to happen next. That is going to be a vector three as well for the right relative. And that's obviously then going to be our horizontal inputs multiplied by our camera right vector three. And this does the exact same thing. Again, it gets our horizontal inputs and puts it into this vector three based on the right vector of the camera. And then if we simply add these two together in a vector three, which we'll just call a movement direction or something simple like that. And we just simply take our forward relative and to that we add our right relative, we have a vector three that we can use for the movement direction. So let's start programming the movement itself. Because as you might imagine, we can just use our movement direction X and our movement direction Z in place of here so that we still have the rigid body doing all the movement and now if we go into our player movement and we can see we need to put in the camera which is important that we don't use the parent object we use the actual camera object into this transform slot if we move forward we'll be moving forward but if we then turn the camera around and we move forward we are now moving forward depending on where the camera is looking so if we change the camera you can see that changes our movement direction. And the same thing with moving right. If we move the camera, it's hard to see with the cube being what we're using here, but this is changing our movement direction relative to our camera. And with that, we have more or less our full character controller for a 3D game, whether it be an action RPG, a shooter game, a 3D platformer, whatever you want to make, this is going to be the basics of mostly any 3D character controller you want to make. So if you want to play around with this entire project, there will be a link down below in the description for you to download it on my Patreon. 
and you can play around with the code if your version of it is not working or you just want to steal my code that also works and for more tutorials much like this one i would very much like you to ask to subscribe to the channel and give this video a little like to encourage me to make more like this